Hello everyone! Welcome to my channel and thanks for stopping by today. Here you'll find lots of trash to treasure projects, whether from the recycle bin or the dumpster, as well as upcycles to things that I already have around the house. I love crafting and I'm an ambassador for plaid products. Thrifting is my favorite thing to do. This is Junkernecker and my name is Leah. Yeah, I'm still working on the new intro. Got to tweak it some more, but it's getting there. Hope all of you are well today. This is the piece that I'm going to be working on. I've got a lot of Tuscan decor, and it's so dark and drab, and I'm wanting to lighten everything up. So I'm going to be attempting this with the Get It Done Challenge that's hosted by Nicole Northgarden. She's challenged us to take a project around the house or even a favorite recipe that we've been wanting to try and just get it done. If you're not familiar with Nicole's channel, I'll be leaving a link to her channel as well as a link to the playlist for the Get It Done Challenge in the descriptions. There you'll find people that really did get it done. But on to my fail. Like I said, I've got a lot of this dark stuff around the house. Pictures, doodads, knickknacks, sit-arounds, whatever you want to call them. Accessories. Home decor pieces. And I want to get them, give them a beachy coastal vibe instead of the dark Tuscan color that had been infiltrating my house for years. So I'm going to try a paint job on this. Let's see how it goes. I'm using my Apple Barrel Matte Acrylic Paint in the color Khaki and an angled brush. Now if you can tell by the video here, the dark brown on there had sort of a wood grain textured look to it. Um, kind of the brush strokes made it look that way in the paint. So I wanted to replicate that in just a much lighter color. Kind of a sandy color, if you will. So I'm going in with kind of a light coat and intentionally leaving some brush strokes in there hoping that it would look like wood grain, but it did not. So I went in with a heavier second coat. Now at this point I'm just painting the dark brown on there because I wanted to leave the bronzy color and the detail in the rest of the candlestick. But that's going to change as well. So putting this heavier second coat on. I'm so messy. I don't tape off anything. I just slap it on there. Then I thought that that part was too dark that had the texture and detail on it, so I just kind of dry brushed over that. But I still left the rings around the bottom and the top in the dark bronzy. See, I'm wiping it off a bit there. Then after I sat back and looked at it, I decided, no, nope, I don't like that either. So I went in with some dry brushing over the pieces that were still left. Yeah, there's where I'm just looking at it, wiping off some here and there. Here's where I decide to go ahead and dry brush over the parts that I had not painted before. Never admit defeat. So, how did it all turn out in the end? Survey says... Yeah. It's a fail. But you know what? It's just paint. And paint will come off. The sun will come up tomorrow and it's all good. So tell me, how would you fix this? Like, I'm honestly asking you to leave me a comment. Would you spray paint the whole thing white and then 
do something on the top of that. I don't know. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed my fail. Subscribe to my channel so you can see some things that were not fails.